Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube video. Today we have finally reached a milestone. I have passed over 30 subscribers. Uh, I exactly have 31. Um, I am really, really uh, impressed and surprised. Uh, I don't know what to say. Um, um it's going up really really quickly uh it's only been three months now i've been really active and at the time i started three months ago i only had four now i have 31 um just got up very quickly it's i'm really 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 happy right now so thank you so much for your support and that and uh, just so you know guys, um, whoever subscribed to my channel, I subscribe to you lot back. Um, I, sub I subscribe to two people today because they are the ones who subscribe to me. So, yeah. 31 subscribers as, as we speak now. Hopefully later today I get more. Uh, gonna have my fingers crossed all day, and uh, yeah, so that's that. Um, I'm going downtown in a, in a, an hour. Um, I just got woken up by my mum as she was trying to wake my sister up to go to school this morning. Uh, it's half eight. I don't know if I wake up that early. I normally wake up about, you know, 10 o'clock or 11. Uh, a bit late, but, you know, I've got nothing else to do. Can't go to school. I can't get a job because, you know, I live in Turkey. Haven't been to school here. I'm 21 now. I've only been to school in the UK. So, no one can accept me for a job. So, that's why I'm doing YouTube. That's the story. And plus I have autism. So guys, uh, we're going to go downtown in an hour. Um, so I'll see you then. Okay guys, we're just on our way downtown. Um, it's very quiet out here this morning. Um, the one guy just staring at me. Every time I do video, he sort of just looks at me. It's making me really uncomfortable. Uh, no, not talking to myself, talking to my audiences. Do you want to be on YouTube? There she is, that's my mum right there. We had a bet earlier. Um, if it's not that, Mum told me that um, if it's not if it's uh, if it's um, cold and uh, I'm wrong, then I don't know what would happen. But uh, if she's wrong, I would. I'm going to put her on YouTube, and that's what I just did. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> yeah. So guys, uh, still I'm not wrong. Still, it's cold. Actually. Only she's cold. Um, boy, because I was born in England, that's why I'm not that cold. So, yeah. <laughs> so guys, um, we're going downtown now. Uh, what are we going to do downtown again? We're going to have a breakfast and get some. Um, Cat food. Alright, if you guys didn't hear, yeah, we're going to have a breakfast and we're going to get some cat food. So uh, we'll see you when we're downtown. Guys, we just arrived downtown. Uh, surprisingly, today it's really, really um, quiet and that, don't you think? Yes. Yeah, it's early in the morning though. Yeah, true. Because this part of town where we are is. Um, supposed to be the most busiest part but um, yeah what time is it exactly
9.30 so yeah so we're heading to we're heading to the uh, cafe now to have a breakfast and then we're going to uh, get some cat food and stuff and uh, we're not sure what we're going to do after that so we'll see you soon so guys um, we're sitting in a cafe waiting for our food to be cooked and that um, I'm going to have a uh, cheese on toast with some uh, Turkish sausage added, added to it, which is called sujuk. Um, they said I'll be here about five more minutes. So, uh, yeah. So, see you soon. Look how flat the sea is. Calm today. Mum's phone's going up. Guys, I just went to the pet shop now to get the uh, cat food and that. Um, now I'm just sitting on a bench waiting for my mum to uh, finish her shopping in, uh, in, um, in the um, clothes shop. Um, don't know how long she's going to be. It's been like two minutes already. I've been sitting here. So. Really, really warm now. It's already uh, ten o'clock, and uh, yeah, still really, really quiet out here though. Um, I'm still, I'm in the um, centre of the town, but I guess it's because it's November. Everyone's all gone home and. So, yeah, there it is. This is how empty it is right now. There's no one else around. Guys, I just got back home. And uh, as you can see, I tried to pour the food from the bag the uh, tub here but things got a bit wrong it went all over the floor as well but I cleaned it up so I don't mind. guys uh, as I was recording the food spilt over uh, I got a notification and uh, after that it stopped my phone from recording um, this apple really has fucked things up lately. Excuse my language, guys. I'm really, really frustrated right now. Um, yeah, what happens is every time I get a notification from anyone or from anything, whatever app, it um, it stops my phone from recording, and I, and that's been happening ever since I updated iOS 11. So I am. So so frustrated right now. Um, yeah, no, and as I um, tried to uh, record again, you know, my mum came back. Um, she had to nip to the shop somewhere, and after she came back, I had to, you know, pull the food and that away. So, guys, I do apologise for me swearing, and uh, I'm. I am I really am sorry. Uh, so yeah. So we've been downtown, we got some food, cat food, we went back home. As I tried to put it in the tub, the food spilled everywhere, all over the table side and the floor. And I uh, wanted to record that as well, my uh accidental accidental event. And uh, my phone terminated recording after I received a notification. Um, I can't tell you which one it is because it's uh, private. It's the messages, by the way. Um, 
yeah. So, all right. I'll see you in the next scene. Let me relax for now, guys. Uh, it's twelve o'clock now. Um, uh, I've calmed down now, at least, at last. Um, but later, I'm going to um, go for a walk uh, up the hill. Um, yeah, because, you know, up the hill you get a really, really nice views and that. Um, I might record as well. So, hopefully you guys can see it better. Um, I'm going to... Um, take the iPad with me as well so um, I can get a so you look and get a uh, good view of the of the whole uh, town of Kushidus as well um, so yeah uh, very soon I'm going to be uploading the uh, yesterday's video as well um, well, by the time this video is uploaded, the, the uh, video I'm going to upload today will become yesterday's, so, yeah. So, very soon we're going to go to, we're going to go for a walk and um, enjoy the view of the town, so, uh, so I'll see you in, the next, in a bit. Hi uh, guys, I just left the house about 15 minutes ago. I'm now walking uh, towards the high, high hills, but we're not going to the same one where we went uh, last time. Um, we're going to go somewhere where it's a lot better, more better views, and more enjoyable. And as you can see here, I've got my iPad with me right now so um, I can record the uh, best views because my iPhone camera is crap as you probably saw in my last uh, mountain climbing video but it's not official mountain climbing it's just uh, we just got it on a hill that's all but it's not going to be too high to see the whole world so yeah so. Guys, we are here. The nice view of the entire town. This is also uh, Ataturk's favourite place when he came here many years ago. In 1919, the uh, Greek troops have landed there, like they did to here. But since 1923, this town we're looking at has been back on Turkish control. But as for the Greek island over there, Turkey was unable to regain it, sadly, even though know, they tried. As the Greek troops retreated, um, sorry, I resisted. Here they retreated, but over there they resisted. So that's a story on why. So 
Turkey doesn't have control of the island over there. Well, on that hill you're looking at over there, it was completely empty when we came here two years ago. All it was this green hill, now it's covered in a block of flats. How put the population to grow here? Not because people are multiplying, but a lot of people from the villages nearby are keeping Guys, I'm now sitting in a hut now with a great view over there. Look at that. It's like you can see the whole world from up here. It's uh, it's really really nice up here. These are uh, holiday places up there, you can see right now. Uh, that wasn't here, but we got here as well. Two years ago. That's all new. I'm guessing very soon, all that, all this, um, hills over there will soon be taken over by either block of flats or hotels, houses, yeah, it's all changing really, really quickly. So, it's a really nice, it's a really nice place to be here in that. I just hope the two boys over there don't come to me because they're from uh, Kurdistan. I don't really trust them. I don't mean to be racist, but um, every time I come across with them, they uh, they ask for money by pretending to be friends. Well, it's just because of money. That's what they do here. Sad. So, have to be really, really careful. And the reason how I know that they occur is because their language is slightly different and also their car over there has got a um, 21 number on the number plate. In, here in Turkey, um, the um, number plates, the first two digits, they're uh, province codes. Uh, for example here in Aydın province is 09. Uh, in Diyarbakır, where this car is from over there, is 21. And Diyarbakır is the uh, Kurdish majority region in Turkey. Um, but it is still part of Turkey, but people live there are Kurdish. So... But I must say, again, I'm not trying to be racist, but every time I come across with them, they just ask for money. But, and pretend to be friends and that just so they can take money. I've learned a lot since I came here. Guys, I think Earthquake is just striking right now. I can feel a bit of a shake, right a little bit. Um, I'm a little bit freaky now, right now. Uh, stopping now, guys. Yes, I've been in Turkey for two years. Earthquakes are really common here, but 
because I'm English, I'm not used to it. Yeah, it just stopped. <sighs> <laughs> Again, is it? No. <laughs> yeah, stop now completely. Very, very little, but uh, yeah, it's. Quite, it's quite scary for me. I'm not sure about people who lives here, but I'm also right by the cliff edge, as you can see. It's even more scary. Well, not too close, but you know, I'm about 300 meters above sea level. Guys, earthquake striked while I was recording. I'm a little bit freaked out and I'm glad I got it on film. Well, I don't think you guys seen it, but I did feel shaking. Very little though, but it's freaky for me. Guys, it's been almost an hour now I've been sitting here. Um, very soon I'm going to be leaving. Uh, I'm gonna go home to do some video editing and do the publishing tomorrow. Um, as we speak right now, I haven't published yesterday's video yet. So, um, so I need to get on with that as well. Um, and tomorrow I'm going to be publishing the video that you're watching right now, which is tomorrow. So, yeah, so very soon I'm going to make my way back home and start putting my videos together and upload tomorrow. Uh, so I'll see you then on the outro. Guys, I changed my mind. I thought I'd, I thought I'd decide to do an outro on here. On the hill so guys uh, thank you so much for watching I uh, had a really nice day enjoying the view up here look at that perfect uh, let's give it a thumbnail up here uh, it's a bit scary as well when the earthquake struck earlier but uh, I'm quite used uh, I'm a little bit used to it as well but uh, not as much as people around me here because they were born here and I'm from England and I moved to Turkey when I was 19 and I'm 21 now so two years so guys um, thanks again for watching and uh, I'll hope to see you guys tomorrow so take care guys and have a great day